Howl for Carl Solomon. 1. I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness, starving, hysterical, naked, dragging themselves through the negro streets at dawn, looking for an angry fix. Angel-headed hipsters burning for the ancient heavenly connection to the starry dynamo in the machinery of night. Who, poverty and tatters and hollow-eyed and high, sat up smoking in the supernatural darkness of cold water flats floating across the top of cities contemplating jazz. Who barred their brains to heaven under the L and saw Mohammedan angels staggering on tenement roofs, illuminated. Who passed through the universities with radiant eyes, hallucinating Arkansas and Blake-like tragedy among the scholars of war. Who were expelled from the academies for crazy and publishing obscene odes on the windows of the skull. Who cowered in unshaven rooms and underwear, burning their money in waste baskets and listening to the terror through the wall. Who got busted in their public beards, returning from Laredo with a belt of marijuana for New York. Who ate fire in painted hotels or drank turpentine in Paradise Alley. Death or perjurated their torsos night after night with dreams, with drugs, with waking nightmares, alcohol and cock and endless balls. Incomparable blind streets of shuddering cloud and lightning in the mind leaping towards poles of Canada and Patterson, illuminating all the motionless world of time between. Peyote solidities of halls, background green trees, cemeteries, dawns, wine drunkenness over the rooftop storefront burrows of tea hedge joyride, neon blinking traffic lights, sun and moon and tree vibrations in the roaring winter dusks of Brooklyn, Ashcan rantings and kind king light of mind, who chain themselves to the subway for the endless ride from Battery to Holy Bronx on Benzedrine until the noise of the wheels and children brought them down shuddering, mouth-racked and battered, bleak of brain or drained of brilliance in the drear light of zoo, who sank all night in the submarine light of Bickford, floated out and sat through the stale beer afternoon in desolate Bugazis, listening to the crack of doom in the hydrogen jukebox who talk constantly 70 hours from park to pad to bar to, to Bellevue to museum to Brooklyn Bridge. A lost battalion of platonic conversationalists jumping down the stoop off fire exits, off windowsills, off Empire State out of the moon. Yakety yakketing, screaming, vomiting, whispering facts and memories and anecdotes and eyeball kicks and shocks of hospitals and jails and wars. Whole intellects disgorged in total recall of, of for seven days and nights with brilliant eyes meet for the synagogue cast on the pavement, who vanish into nowhere Zen, New Jersey, leaving a trail of ambiguous picture postcards of Atlantic City Hall, suffering eastern sweats and tangerine bro bone grinding migraines of who wandered around and around at midnight in the rail yards, wondering where to go and went leaving no broken hearts. Who lit cigarettes in boxcars, 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 racketing through snow towards lonesome farms in Grandfather Night. Who studied Plotinus, Poe, St. John of the Cross, Telepathy, and Bob Kabbalah because the cosmos instinctively vibrated at their feet in Kansas. Who loaned it through the streets of Idaho, seeking visionary Indian angels who were visionary Indian angels. Who thought they were only mad when Baltimore gleamed in supernatural ecstasy. Who jumped in limousines with the Chinaman of Oklahoma on the impulse of winter midnight screen like small town rain? Who lounged hungry and lonesome through Houston seeking jazz or sex or soup and followed the brilliant Spaniard to converse about America and eternity, a hopeless task, and so took ship to Africa? Who disappeared into the volcanoes of Mexico, leaving behind nothing but the shadow of dungarees and the lava and ash of poverty scattered in the fireplace Chicago? Who reappeared on the west coast investigating the FBI in beer? and shorts with big pacifist eyes sexy in their dark skin passed out incomprehensible leaflets who burned cigarette holes in their arms protesting the narcotic tobacco haze of capitalism who distributed super communist pamphlets in Union Square weeping and undressing while the sirens of Los Alamos wailed them down and wailed down wall and Staten Island very also wailed who broke down crying in the white gymnasium naked and trembling before the machinery of other skeletons who bit detectives in the neck and shrieked with delight in police cars for committing no crime but their own wild cooking pederasty and intoxication who howled on their knees in the subway and were dragged off the roof waving genitals and manuscripts 
who let themselves be fucked in the ass by saintly motorcyclists and screamed with joy, who blew and were blown by those human seraphim, the sailors' ca caresses of the Atlantic and Caribbean love, who bawled in the morning in the evening in rose gardens and the grass of the public parks and the cemeteries scattering their semen freely to whomever came who may, who hiccuped endlessly trying to giggle but wound up with a sob behind a partition in a Turkish bath when the blonde and naked angel came to pierce them with a sword, who lost their love boys to the three old shrews of fate, the one-eyed shrew of the heterosexual dollar, the one-eyed shrew that winks out of the womb, and the one-eyed shrew that does nothing but sit on her ass and snip the intellectual golden threads of the craftsman's loom, who copulate ecstatic and insinuate with a bottle of beer, a sweetheart, a package of cigarettes, a candle, and fall off the bed and continue along the floor and down the hall, and end up fading in the wall with a vision of the ultimate cunt and some eluding the last jism of consciousness, who sweeten the snatches of a million girls trembling in the sunset, and were red-eyed in the morning but prepared to sweeten the snatch of the sunrise, flashing buttocks under the barns and naked in the lake. Who went out whoring through Colorado in the myriad stolen night cars, N.C., secret hero of these poems, Coxman and Adonis of Denver, joy to the memory of his innumerable ladies of girls and empty lots and diner, backyard, movie houses, rickety rows on mountain tops and caves, or with gaunt waitresses in familiar roadside, lonely petticoat upliftings, and especially secret gas stations, solop systems of John and hometown alleys too, who faded out in vast sordid movies, were shifted in dreams, woke on a sudden Manhattan and picked themselves up out of the basements, hung over with heartless tokay and horrors of Third Avenue iron dreams, and stumbled to their employment offices, who walk all night with their shoes full of blood on the snowbank docks, waiting for a door in the East River to open to a room full of steam heat and opium, who create a great suicidal drama on the apartment cliff banks of the Hudson under the wartime blue floodlight of the moon and their heads shown by the crown with laurel in oblivion, who ate the lamb stew of imagination or digested the crab at the muddy bottom of the rivers of Bowery, who wept at the romance of the streets with their pushcars full of onions and bad music, who sat in boxes breathing in the darkness under the bridge, rose up to build harpsichords in their loft, who coughed on the sixth floor of Harlem, crowned with flames under the tubercular sky surrounded by orange crates of theology, who scribbled all night rocking and rolling over lofty incarnations which in the yellow morning were stanzas of gibberish, who cooked rotten animal lung, heart, feet, tail, borscht and tortilla, dreaming of the pure vegetable kingdom, who plunged themselves under meat trucks looking for an egg, who threw their watches off the roof to cast their ballot for eternity outside of time, and alarm clocks fell on their heads every day for the next decade, who cut their wrists three times successfully, unsuccessfully gave up, and were forced to open antique stores where they thought they were growing old and cried, who were burned alive in the innocent flannel suits of Madison Avenue amid the blasts of leaden verse and the tanked up ch clatter of the iron regiments of fashion and the nitroglycerin shrieks of fairies of advertising and the mustard gas of sinister intelligent editors who were run down by drunken taxi cabs of absolute reality who jumped off the Brooklyn Bridge, this actually happened, and walked away unknown, forgotten, in the ghostly days of Chinatown, soup alleyways and fire trucks, not even one free beer. Who sang out of their windows in despair, fell out of the subway window, jumped in the filthy paddock, leaped on negroes, cried over the street, danced on the broken wine glasses, barefoot, smashed phonograph records of nostalgic European 1930s German jazz, finished the whiskey and threw up groaning in the bloody toilet moans in their ears in the last blast of colossal steam whistles, who barreled down the highway of the past, journeying to each other's hot rod, Golgotha, jail, solitude, watch or Boeing, jazz incarnation, who drove cross country 72 hours to find out if I had a vision or you had a vision or he had a vision to find out eternity who journeyed to Denver, who died in Denver, who came back to Denver and waited in vain, who watched over Denver and brooded in, and loaned in Denver and finally went out to find the time and now Denver is lonesome for her heroes, who fell on their knees in hopeless cathedrals praying for each other's salvation and light and breasts until the soul illuminated its hair for a second, 
who crashed through their minds in jail, waiting for impossible criminals with golden head and the charm of reality in their hearts, who sang sweet blues to Alcatraz, who retired to Mexico to cultivate a habit, or rock mountain to tender Buddha, or Tangiers to boys, or South Pacific to black locomotion, or Harvard to Narcissus, to woodland to the daisy chain or grave, who demanded sanity trials, accusing the radio hypnotism and were left with their insanity in their hands and a hung jury, who threw potato salad at CCNY lecturers on Dadaism and subsequently presented themselves on the granite steps of the madhouse with shaven heads and harlequin speech of suicide demanding instantaneous lobotomy, and who were given instead the concrete void of insulin, mitzidroid, electric, hydrotherapy, psychotherapy, occupational therapy, ping pong, and amnesia, who in humorous protest overturned only one symbolic ping pong table resting briefly in Catatonia. Returning years later, truly bold except for a wig of blood and tears and fingers, to the visible madmen doom of the wards of the mad towns of the east. Pilgrim states and rocklands and greystones, fetoid halls, bickering with the echoes of the soul, rocking and rolling in the midnight solitude, bench dolmens, realms of love and dreams of nightmares and bodies turned to stone and at the moon, when mother finally, and the last fantastic book flung out of the tenement window and the last door closes at 4am and the last telephone slammed at the wall in reply and the last furnished room emptied down to the last piece of mental furniture a yellow paper rose twisted on the wire hanger in the closet and even the imaginary nothing but a hopeful bit of hallucination. Ah, Carl, while you are not safe, and I am not safe, and now are you really in the total animal soup of time? And who, therefore, ran through the icy streets, obsessed with the sudden flash of the alchemy of the use of the ellipse? catalogue of variable measure and vibrating plane? Who dreamt and made incarnate gaps of time and space through images juxtaposed and trapped the archangel of the soul between two visual images and joined the men elemental verb and set the noun and dash of consciousness together, jumping with the sensation of hater, omnipotence, armatus, deus, to recreate syntax and measure of poor human prose, and stand before you speechless and intelligent, shaking with shame, rejecting it, confessing out of the soul to conform to the rhythm of thought in his naked and endless head, the madman bum and angel beat in time unknown, yet putting down here what might be left to say in time come after death, and rose reincarnated in the ghastly clothes of jazz, in the golden horn shadow of the band and blue, the suffering of America's naked mind for love, into an Eli, Eli, Lama, 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 Scapagitious saxophone cry that shivered the cities down to the last radio, with the absolute heart of the poem of life butchered out of their own bodies good to eat a thousand years. Part 2 what sphinx of cement and aluminium bashed open their skulls and ate up their brains and imagination? Morlock, solitude, filth, ugliness, ash cans and unattainable dollars, children screaming under the stairways, boys sobbing in armies, old men weeping in the parks. Morlock, Morlock, nightmare of Morlock, Morlock the loveless mental Morlock, Morlock the heavy judger of men. Morlock, the incomprehensible prison. Morlock, the cross bone soulless jailhouse and congress of sorrows. Morlock, whose buildings are judgment. Morlock, the vast stone of war. Morlock, the stunned governments. Morlock, whose mind is pure machinery. Morlock, whose blood is running money. Morlock, whose fingers are ten armies. Morlock, whose breast is a cannibal dynamo. Morlock, whose ear is a smoking tomb. Morlock, whose eyes are a thousand blind windows. Morlock, whose skyscrapers stand in the long streets like endless Jehovah's. Morlock, whose factories dream and croak in fog. Morlock, whose smokestacks and antenna crown the city. Morlock, whose love is endless oil and stone. Morlock, whose soul is electricity and banks. Morlock, whose poverty is a spectre of genius. Morlock, whose fate is a cloud of sexless hydrogen. Morlock, whose name is the mind. Morlock, in whom I sit lonely. Morlock, in whom I dream angels, crazy in Morlock, cocksucker in Morlock, lack love and manless in Morlock, Morlock who entered my soul early, Morlock, in whom I am consciousness without a body, 
Morlock, who frightens me out of my natural ecstasy. Morlock, whom I abandon, wake up in Morlock, light streaming out of the sky. Morlock, Morlock, robot apartments, invisible suburbs, skeleton, treasures, blind, capitals, demonic instruments, spectral nations, invincible madhouses, granite cocks, monstrous bombs. They broke their backs, lifting Morlock to the heavens, pavements, trees, radios, tons, lifting the city to heaven, which exists and is everywhere about us. Visions, omens, hallucinations, miracles, ecstasies, gone down the American river. Dreams, absolutions, illustrations, religious, the whole boatload of sensitive bullshit. Breakthroughs over the river, flips and crucifixions, gone down the flood, highs, epiphanies, despairs, ten years, animal screams. Dreams and suicides, minds, new loves, my generations down on the rocks of time. Real holy laughter in the river, they saw it all, the wild eyes, the holy yells, they bade farewell, they jumped off the roof to solitude, waving, carrying flowers down to the river, into the street. Part 3. Carl Solomon, I'm with you in Rockland, where you're madder than I am. I'm with you in Rockland, where you must feel very strange. I'm with you in Rockland, where you imitate the shade of my mother. I'm with you in Rockland, where you've murdered your twelve secretaries. I'm with you in Rockland, where you laugh at this invisible humour. I'm with you in Rockland, where we are great writers on the same dreadful typewriter. I'm with you in Rockland, where your condition has become serious and is reported on the radio. I'm with you in Rockland, where the facilities of the skull no longer admit the worms of the senses. I'm with you in Rockland, where you drink the tea of the breast of the spinsters of Utisha. I'm with you in Rockland, where you pun on the bodies of your nurses, the harpies of the Bronx. I'm with you in Rockland, where you scream in a straitjacket that you're losing the game of the actual ping-pong of the abyss. I'm with you in Rockland, where you bang on the catatonic piano, the soul and is innocent and immortal, it should never die ungodly in an armed madhouse. I'm with you in Rockland, where fifty more shocks will never return your soul to a body again from its pilgrimage to cross in the void. I'm with you in Rockland, where you accuse your doctors of insanity and plot the Hebrew Socialist Revolution against the fascist National Gogotha. I'm with you in Rockland, where you will split the heavens of Long Island and resurrect the living human Jesus from the supernatural tomb. I'm with you in Rockland, where there are 25,000 mad comrades all together singing the final stanzas of the International Arle. I'm with you in Rockland, where we hug and kiss the United States under our bedsheets, the United States that coughs all night and won't let us sleep. I'm with you in Rockland, where we wake up electrified out of the coma by our own souls, airplanes roaring over the roof. They've come to drop angelic bombs. The hospital illuminates itself. Imaginary walls collapse. Oh, skinny legions run outside. Oh, star spa I'm with you in Rockland, where we wake up electrified out of the coma by our own souls, airplanes roaring over the roof. They've come to drop angelic bombs. The hospital illuminates itself. Imaginary walls collapse. Oh, skinny legions run outside. Oh, starry spangled shock of mercy. The eternal war is here. Oh, victory, forget your underwear, we're free. I'm with you in Rockland. In my dreams you walk dripping from the sea, journey on the highway across America in tears to the door of my cottage in the western night. Footnotes to Howl. Holy, 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 holy. The word is holy, the soul is holy, the skin is holy, the nose is holy, the tongue and cock and hand and asshole is holy. Everything is holy and every body is holy, everywhere is holy, every day is eternity, every man's an angel. Bums as holy as the seraphim, the madman is holy as your, you, my soul, are holy. The typewriter is holy, the poem is holy, the voice is holy, the hearers are holy, the ecstasy is holy. Holy Peter, holy Alan, holy Solomon, holy Lucian, holy Kerouac, holy Huck, holy Burroughs, holy Cassidy. Holy the unknown buggered and suffered beggars, holy the hideous human angels, holy my mother in the insane asylum, holy the cocks of grandfathers of Kansas, holy the groaning saxophone, holy the bop apocalypse, holy the jazz band marijuana hipster, peace peyote pipes and drums, holy the solitude of skyscrapers and pavements, holy the cafeterias filled with vermilions, holy the mysterious river of tears under the streets, holy the lone juggernaut, holy the vast Lamb of the middle class, holy the crazy shepherd of the rebellion, who digs Los a Angeles, is Los Angeles, holy New York, San Francisco, holy Paira and Seattle, and holy Paris, holy Tangiers, holy Moscow, holy Istanbul, 
holy time in eternity, holy eternity in time, holy the clocks in space, holy the fourth dimension, holy the fifth internationale, holy the angel in Morlock, holy the sea, holy the desert, holy the railroad, holy the locomotive, holy the vision, holy the hallucination, holy the miracle, holy the eyeball, holy the abyss, holy forgiveness, mercy, charity, faith, holy our bodies suffering, magnanimity, holy the supernatural, extra, brilliant, intelligent kindness of the soul.